Hello guys, this is Paul Veloskar from Laravel Daily Team and YouTube channel Laravel Business and today it's a quick video with Carbon Tip, Laravel Carbon, it's not Laravel but Carbon package is used all over Laravel. So let's imagine you have a project for tracking expenses and you need to add this. Uh, for example, if today's date, if time of current time is less than 12 hours, so if it's morning up until 12, up until uh, midday, you uh, need to show this warning to users. So have you added your expenses for yesterday? So in the morning, so people wouldn't forget to add them. And in the code, it looks pretty simple. So warning message uh, depends on condition. If hour is less than 12, then warning message is present. Otherwise, it's null. And then in the blade file, you have this. Basically, if there is a warning message, uh, show that. Uh, and currently for me it's evening, so how can I test that it's actually working uh, if it's evening uh, without changing the code? Of course I can change that to 23 and I can refresh uh, that it's working and then I can get it back to I don't know, 10 for example. And since it's not morning it wouldn't show up. It would uh, would be hidden. But there is a more elegant way to do that. You can actually fake the time. So without changing your code, so let's leave that at, at 12. There is a carbon trick, which is set test now. You can basically fake the now time and current time to whatever you want and then your code uh, will be executed with new time. So for example, let's, let's get to, for example, uh, 11 a.m. on September 18th and let's try if it works. So currently it's 11 a.m. and this code uh, works uh, with warning message present. If we fake the time to 2 p.m. basically 14 hours it's not present. So this line was the thing that I wanted to show you. You can fake the time. It's mostly used for automatic testing. So for example, you can set test now to one case and then execute unit test or feature test whether it works and then test another case with set test now to a different time. But you can also uh, just temporarily, uh, but don't forget to remove that if you're doing that in controller. But temporarily for testing, you can do something like that. I hope it's useful and see you in other videos on this channel about Laravel and about business, which is called Laravel Business. See ya.